Hi everyone, welcome or welcome on back to my channel. My name is Iris and today I decided let's go ahead and analyze my locks at this stage in my lock journey. I am 17 months locked. In about seven days I will be 18 months locked. So I just want to look at how they are progressing right now. The feelings that I feel about them at this point in time and overall just be honest with you about some of the insecurities I do have about my locks at this stage. So let's get a little bit closer so we can take a look. Alright so now that we're a bit closer let's go ahead and get started. So let me start with one of the obvious points or issues for me is that my hair grows away from my locks so for instance here is a patch of hair that's clearly not attached to any lock and it's just sitting here like it's its own afro basically <laughs> but this happens all over my head in different areas and it happens every month so I will admit I hated this <laughs> and I used to question why does this happen to my locks? Why do I have to have, you know, the type of hair that clearly won't stay twisted within the shaft of my lock? And obviously it's definitely my hair texture and it's just the way it is it's just you know it doesn't want to conform to being in anything I've just come to accept that that's just the way it is is this going to happen my entire journey I don't know <laughs> but it's happening now so I've had to have a come to Jesus moment <laughs> so to speak I would say and just be okay with my hair texture because it's just you definitely can't have someone else's head of hair and of course i feel like we all go through a case of lock envy or a lock admiration where we admire somebody's locks and we start to question our own hair now i believe this happens even if you don't have locks just hair in general natural hair any type of hair someone else's hair always seems to just somehow be better than what you have and this journey has definitely taught me that you're gonna have to accept what you got <laughs> and that is just the bottom line so I could complain about this I could try to switch my method which i've thought of doing i've thought about interlocking to combat this but i'm just not ready i don't think to switch over at this point in my journey but it has been a thought but i also have just accepted that this is how my hair is this is this is what it is so i'm okay with it at this point it doesn't bother me as much as it used to honestly this is the way my hair mostly looks throughout the month and yeah in my updates i usually come to you guys looking like you know a fresh retwist but to be honest with you most of the month this is the way my hair looks and i've had to also accept that you know because some people love a neat look and i would admit i was one of those people and until i got on my journey i would say it mattered a lot especially in the beginning of my journey when i first started like keeping my hair neat i felt like it was a must but going through the ups and downs and like i said learning my hair basically because i feel like Yes, I've been natural since 2011, so I've, I feel like I kind of accepted my natural hair, 
but I feel like this journey is different for some reason. I feel like I've now had to come to terms with some things I didn't in my natural year journey. If that makes sense, that may sound weird. That may be like, what? You've been natural for so long. I know, but I don't know. <laughs> the journey is definitely different. It's teaching me about acceptance more, I wanna say, and having to just be okay with the unkept or the not so neat look because majority of the time that is what your locks are going to look like and if that's going to bother you then you're probably going to be a person that's constantly in your head trying to keep up the maintenance which i'm not saying anything is wrong with that of course do what's best for you but i've had to come to terms with neatness is not a big deal <laughs> and I come on here sometimes with my hair looking like this and a beat face with a full face of makeup and I still feel pretty, you know? It's it's definitely something that you're going to have to accept about yourself that regardless of what's going on up here, your face is still beautiful, you are still a beautiful person, the hair shouldn't matter basically at the end of the day. I think especially since you know the world that we're in today in society everything is about how we look looks are put on the forefront of who you are supposed to be as a person you know that's what people see when they first see you are your looks you know that's the obvious but i'm finding that through this journey looks or the way certain things look on a person may not be the most important thing, especially your hair at this point, you know? So I definitely feel like dealing with the growing away from my locks and that my locks don't look so neat all the time is definitely something I've had to come to turn with and I'm definitely now okay with, which I'm actually proud of myself for doing that. Also, Here's my new lock here, which she's, she loves to just do this, which is just stick out of nowhere because, you know, she's trying to get to where the rest of my locks are. So I find that she, this happens a lot. It kind of pokes out. So I always just have to kind of push it down, push it in like so. Also... Not all of my locks are sealed at the end. I've been noticing that too. Let me see if I can find an example for you on some of them. Let me see if I can find one so I can show you. But here's one right here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to move everything else out the way, but if you look at this lock at the end, you see how it's still kind of curly a little bit with like the loose hair just sticking out here? This lock is definitely not sealed. And if I show you a lock that is sealed at the end, like this one, you can actually see the difference. This is a sealed end and this one still has a, some ways to go. So I've spoken about this before. I believe that the texture in the front of my head is a looser texture than the texture in the back of my head. So I definitely feel like these locks are progressing much slower than the locks in the back. So I can definitely tell you that the locks in the back of my head, I believe all of them are definitely sealed at the end or if they're not completely sealed at this stage in my journey, they look like they're sealed, you know? They look more rounded at the tip than these in the front that are like near my bang where the tips kind of still have that, some of them have that curly or that stringy end a little bit to them. which is fine it doesn't bother me or anything like that it was just something i noticed i'm like 
these in the back are definitely sealed more some of these on the side but the ones here in this bang area in the front are definitely slowly progressing at a slower rate than the ones in the back or the even the middle part of my head i would say you all know that i started my locks with two strand twists and i feel like the two strand twist demarcation in my locks are pretty gone except for some of these in the front i feel like you can still see the demarcation i still feel like you can kind of see that it's like looking like a twist here at the end it definitely has some bumps and lumps here but i definitely feel like it looks kind of twist like if you can see on the end here so this is what's going to happen to your locks if you start with two strand twists. It kind of, it's going to have that look of the twist for a while. And it doesn't bother me at all, but it's just something to be aware of. You know, they kind of look a little bumpy and you can tell where the twist is kind of overlaying on top of itself there this one's a little bit I feel like this one's a little bit more hidden it's starting to fade more on this one than rather than the other one that I showed you which I think was this one but yeah I'm definitely noticing you know like I said definitely I feel like it's because of the rate of the mature process with my locks why these I feel like are showing more of that demarcation more than the ones in the back. I feel like the ones in the back definitely have lost that demarcation. I don't really notice it or see it as much back here. Now let's go to the next issue since it wants to pop up here as I'm showing you. Lint. Lint and locks just I literally feel like I'm a magnet <laughs> and it drives me crazy and I wear my bonnet at night or at least I try to do I do it every night no but I try to be disciplined enough to remember to put it on but I'm always finding a piece or two I would say no more than five and I mean I don't have a huge lint problem I don't feel like and I'm, and I'm not looking at the back of my head all the time either or using a mirror to look at the back of it to be honest with you but lint does happen a lot with locks and of course I didn't realize that until I got locks but it definitely attracts a lot of lint and I'm trying to I'm trying to make sure I keep on top of it I would say so I do look at my locks and try to see if I see any especially here in the front area where I can actually see my head and my hair but in the back I'm pretty sure you guys seen in videos that when I'm showing you my hair there is something there there is a piece of lint there's a piece of glitter. There is something <laughs> in my locks and it drives me crazy when I'm editing and I'm like, why, why, why? You should have probably checked your hair before you did that. But then I'm like, but that is the reality of what I really go through. I mean, I just, Lent just appears most of the time. <laughs> and, and, you know, I know people brush their locks. I've never tried that before. I don't, I'm not against or anything, but I don't think I'm at the stage where I need to because like I said, I don't really see a lot of lint like that. The most I probably see is maybe five at a time if I'm really looking. Do I wear my bonnet during the day? No. Should I be doing that? Probably. But I don't know. I'm a person that even when I do styles on my hair, I can't wear them that long and I feel like now definitely since I have locks I've noticed it's been even more 
of a problem I would say I probably keep a style in a week and a half to two weeks the most and even within that first week I'm like ready to be like okay yeah I'm, I'm ready to take this out my hair just feels like it needs to be free it doesn't want to be in something so even thinking about putting on a bonnet during the day I'm just thinking that's probably not going to happen I just try my best to deal with the lint as as good as I can as possible. So that is pretty much it for analyzing my locks at this stage in my lock journey. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye guys. <laughs>